What's up guys, Luby Gold here with the lovely Mackenzie, my wife. Hi. 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 It's so nice to have you oh, here with me. Oh, it's so great to be here with you. <laughs> uh, today, we are going to be touring one of my favorite neighborhoods in Denver. Your favorite neighborhood, would you say? Yeah, my favorite. It is? South Park Hill, Denver. Mm hmm So, let's get around about. Check it out. to go to Park Hill. I love Park Hill. Would you say South Park Hill is where we're going today? We're going to South Park Hill. Yeah. South Park Hill is between 26th Avenue and Colfax Avenue and between Quebec Street and Colorado Boulevard. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is this your favorite neighborhood? You're excited, aren't you? Yeah, I am. It's my number one <laughs> favorite neighborhood in Denver. It's so beautiful. So nice, really quiet, great schools, lots of families. It's really fun. So we're coming up on a place we go. How many times a week do you think we go here? Oh, at least once. At least once. The Museum of Nature and Science. It's on Colorado and Mont View. It's like the best museum ever because they have dinosaurs and space and what else all this stuff Everything. they get like the major exhibits that come through right yeah they always have a rotating exhibit that is new so there's always something new to check out the kids love it grown-ups love it we always take the grandparents when they're in town it's super fun mm -hmm. there's also uh, an area called the discovery zone which is great if you have really little ones specifically for kind of pre-k to to first or second graders yeah where they can play in the water and the sand and, and then there's a is right next to city park as well which we'll go through and now we're coming on to mont view which is the fancy fancy pants street we got some of these bad boys how much do these homes cost yeah. oh man around here you're going to be looking at between uh, one and four million dollar i think scott my buddy Scott Peterson just sold one of these, which one was it, for two point something. But these are super cool houses, I love that. So this is like, when you think about South Park Hill, this is the street I think about. Even though these are the kind of more fancy ones. You get some smaller ones as well. This is Mont View. Presbyterian Church but they have the preschool here as well which is where both our kids went the preschool and there's Park Hill Elementary what are the schools what are all the schools here um, for elementary schools you've got Park Hill Elementary you've got Stedman Elementary and you've got Odyssey which is a charter school uh, middle schools are McCollum Odyssey as well, which goes K through eight. And then here's another preschool there. That's Park Hill Children's Center. That's a really popular school as well. Great for little ones. Um, yeah, and then there actually isn't a high school in the boundaries of South Park Hill, but there are a couple of high schools that serve South Park Hill that are really great schools. You've got East, which is over on Colfax Avenue, just, um, just, west of here and then you've got DSST Montview which is in the Central Park neighborhood just east of here yeah. I love this house on the corner coming up here yeah it's yeah lots of Tudor style homes in Park Hill yeah when you go down these side streets this is where you see the real Look at that one. Ooh. Tasty house. I want one of these houses. Me too. Let's get one. They're all different as well, huh? Yeah, I think that's one of the things I love the most about this area is that um, no two homes look the same. 
we go trick or treating here a lot as well with the kids. And all these houses are done up to the nines, aren't they? Oh yeah. And then this is 17th Parkway that kind of runs uh, through a lot of people run. This parkway goes all the way from Monaco to um, Colorado. So a lot of people run here to take the dogs. The mature trees in this area are just unbelievable as well. We're kind of just coming into spring, so you might not really get a great impression of what it's like, but um, it's just shaded and Oh, who was that call? Incoming call. Oh. Press the pickup button to answer. Okay, this has got business call. call. Oh boy. Press the pickup button. Oh, we're going to turn in and show you a flip here that we did. This on the corner here of 17th and Cherry. Well, we didn't do the flip, but we sold it for the old um, seller. But this house is super cool and unique. Before they uh, flipped it all, it was like. I mean, it was pretty beat up, huh? Yeah, it just hadn't been updated in a really long time. Yeah. Oh, I love the blue garage. Yeah, they did a nice job on that. That was a good job. And then we just used to live down here as well. But we're coming down to Colfax, which is, I would say, one of my favorite streets because it has character. It does, and it's actually the longest street in America. Mm-hmm. I did know that, but I bet some people watching didn't know that. Yeah, so Colfax is the southernmost border of South Park Hill, and it's changed a ton in the last few years. It was maybe, you know, in the 90s, 80s, considered a little bit sketchy, and now there are tons of great businesses, great restaurants, salons, nail places. Um, Great classy restaurants like Pizza Hut Wing Street. <laughs> and Just you can go kidding. to AutoZone here if you want to get a car fixed. <laughs> but it was Colfax in the day um, was like way back, way back when Denver was just kind of getting started. It was like all the um, the, the bars started here saloons. and the saloons <laughs> and the prostitute, what would you call that? Um, I don't know what you would call The ladies of the night would all be here. <laughs> but now it's, uh, it's getting all fancy and and uh, they're, they're developing a ton on uh, East Colfax. West Colfax is more in like the Highlands. The Highlands. Mm -hmm. So we'll tour that another day. We'll show you all that. West Colfax is a little more to do, would you say? Uh, it's just different, different yeah. vibes. Um, but on the East, we'll drive. This is where I would, I, this strip right here, we're going to go up. It's like my favorite coffee shop on earth used to be here, but it closed and I'm heartbroken. But. Yeah. Thank this you. restaurant right here, you can only kind of see the side of it, but this is a restaurant called Matam Fez. It's a Persian restaurant. We used to go there on field trips when I was in elementary school because they would serve you traditional Persian food and you would sit in um, on big cushions on the floor with the low tables and they have belly dancers that come out <laughs> and it's like the whole thing. Yeah, yeah that's it looks cool. like it's actually closed. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of the restaurants and stuff on Colfax closed with COVID, but... Um, Let's see Engine what we can. Karate. Engine, you can get yeah. your karate on. That's my buddy Mike's place. That was the uh, first ancient karate place in the United States. I'll have you know. Uh, let's see what we got. The Elm. They've got really good burgers. This is the best donuts in town right here. City Boom. Donuts. We just passed it. City donuts. If anyone tells you Voodoo donuts are the best, they are liars. Voodoo donuts are pretty good. But They're all right. City donuts is where it's at. Marzik is coming up here and Nugs. Oh, this is the best part here. I know. So this right here is the coffee shop Bellwether. I used to love, I used to be there every day, but they closed it. Well, now it's a bar. Well, it's, yeah, it's called the Horror Bar. I'm not too sure what's going on with it. Um, this is one of the only places in town you can get fish and chips that are even slightly uh, like at our back home, GB Fish and Chips. And then we used to live right up here, didn't we? We've lived all over Park Hill. We've lived all over Park Hill. It's our favorite. Yeah. Um, so yeah, tons of cool stuff. Let's go and check out some of the establishments. All right, so now we are on Kearney Street. This is one of the main kind of business thoroughfares of South Park Hill. Thoroughfares. Thoroughfares. Good. That's a good word. Thank you. 
You've got all sorts of stuff here. You've got restaurants, you've got two restaurants. One is called Neighbors, one is called Tables. They're both owned by the same people. Tables is kind of the fancier version of Neighbors. Really, really good food. They do these bacon wrapped dates stuffed Ooh, with goat cheese. Oh yeah, they're so good. Um, you've got a yoga studio. You've got Cake Crumbs, which is a bakery. You've got Dardano's Gymnastics right here. This has been all... here forever. Oh, it has. I did gymnastics here as a toddler. Um, and all the neighborhood kids still love to come here to do their tumbling. Dry cleaners you've got. You've got a real tea office. Um, it's just a really sweet place uh, to come and grab a bite to eat with the family and check out all there is to see. Yeah. Kidgies. CGs. Oh, so <laughs> CGs. Pet natural, store. Natural pet supplies. Yeah. No faking here. But yeah, it's it's cool, man. There's a ton of stuff here. Where's tables? Tables is over. Tables is right there. Skadoosh, right there. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. This is one of three main kind of business. What do you call? Thoroughfares. Thoroughfares. <laughs> uh, in in uh, in South Park Hill. But yeah, there's cake crumbs. Everyone goes to cake crumbs. All the kids from. All the kids from McAuliffe, all the middle schoolers, all love to walk to Cake Crumbs after school and have a cupcake and gossip. 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 Oh! <laughs> all Talk of the... about who the new fancy men are. And these are actually, <laughs> these are actually some of the only um, condos in South Park Hill. There's two buildings here, and there's one on Dahlia, maybe. But everything else is single-family home. Those are the only multi-family buildings. Um, they tried to get a, they tried to get a license for a whiskey uh, distillery, but it didn't work out. So they kept them as condos. All right, where should we head next? Let's head over to 23rd and Oneida. This is McAuliffe Middle School. It's a huge building, huh? It's huge, yeah. It used to be called Smiley Middle School back in the day, and now it's McAuliffe. Smiley. <laughs> hey, yeah, it's huge, man. It is. McAuliffe is the only uh, non-charter middle school that serves the South Park Hill area and in a minute we'll go drive by Denver School of the Arts which is a charter middle and high school that's located in South Park Hill. So it's not a dedicated high school? What? Is that PSA? right? Yeah what does that mean? It's a charter and so it's it's not a private school it's public um, but you do have to audition to get in to DSA. Uh, here's some middle schoolers out on their gym class. Gym Get class? Around. They should be running. Come on, what's going on here? <laughs> They're just walking around school? Gosh, not in my day. Not in my day. We didn't even have shoes back in my day. Oh. <clears throat> I like this house here. Back to Kearney. Kearney. Oh yeah, let's go by the art garage. One thing I forgot to mention. Right on the edge of this Kearney Street business area is this awesome place called the Art Garage. They teach art classes. They do summer camps. It's a very cool space. Yeah. Keeping the arts alive here. Now we're coming down Monaco. I love this street, but it's a busy street. There's um, Odyssey School over there. Odyssey is a charter school that serves kindergarten through eighth grade. Right, so coming up over here is Denver School of the Arts, also known as DSA. So DSA is a charter middle through high school, so sixth through 12th grade. You do have to audition to get in, and it's fairly prestigious nowadays. 
um, but it's a great school that offers visual art, dance, singing, orchestra, band, acting, all of those um, art forms that we love and they're really um, keeping, keeping the arts alive and nurturing that in their students. I actually attended DSA as a music major. Um, but when I went there, it wasn't in this building. It was in a different building, and they've since moved. This building actually used to be connected with um, University of Denver. This was the University of Denver Lamont School of Music, um, and it was a satellite campus. And then when DU opened the Lamont School of Music down on their main campus in a brand new high-tech facility, uh, DSA came and took this building over. So now it's still a school filled with lots of budding young artists. All right, which one's this? Oneida Park? Oneida Park. I would say this is the one that we frequent the most. Would you yeah. say so? Yeah. Because it has Esther's, um, which is um, like good Restaurant. food, pizza. What are the things they do with their... Oh, the they do the dates. So oh, no, good. they do the... What is it they do? The side dish that I love? I don't know. I don't they know. have really good wings, though, and pizza and brunch. Yeah, so you got Esther's. You've also got Dang ice cream which controversially might be my favorite ice cream it's over soft nugs. Serve. It's soft serve. It's really good. Their yeah. vegan chocolate ganache is mind blowing. Vegan ice cream, I'm not sure about that. It's really good. Um, you also have uh, Illegal Pete's, which is here, which are the good burritos. You got Torpedo Coffee, which you're into. It's my know. favorite coffee shop is Torpedo. It's so good. Um, spicy Thai, which we get. Uh, and then the Park Hill Vet, where our puppies go and uh, Brucey boy the cat along with the Zen Den pet spa where our pets do not go because they're not that spoiled that's right this place has changed a bunch though because that's the butcher now what it used to be it used to be Allegra's pizza now uh, it's a butcher nails this used to be a skateboard shop remember it was it was a skateboard shop and then well no the skateboard shop was there next to it and then it was a barber's and then they combined it into Ah. Now it's and I'm so excited that Illegal Pizza is here now. This restaurant has been so many different restaurants. And Illegal Pizza is so good. They have the best um, fish burritos, which might sound weird, but it's actually amazing. Yeah. So, yeah, this is a Nida. This is more east of, like, East South Park Hill, right? Yeah. Like, Southeast. we're getting to the border? Yeah, we're close close to the border here, but still very much in the heart of it. The homes around this neighborhood tend to be a little bit smaller. Um, this part was built more in the 50s as opposed to where we were like on Montview with the big mansions that were built in like the early 1900s. And then this place is my favorite cheesesteak place in Denver. Yeah. They do really good cheesesteaks. The guy's actually from Philly, so it's legit. So you know that it is good. All right. On to the next place. All right, where are we going now? Now we'll head down to 23rd and check out Spinelli's. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, check this out. This house has always got goats on the outside of them. <laughs> Look, there he is. Oh. Actually, the family that lives there are um, one of the kid that lives there is in our oldest son's class. Oh, is he? Who's that? Uh -huh. well. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, they've always got goats in the yard. That's funny. Everyone here has dogs, though, don't they? They do. I feel like you can't live in Park Hill unless you have dogs. You and walk them around. a ton of people have chickens now, too. It's like really normal to have a chicken coop in your backyard in yeah. Park Hill. But you can see on this side of town that houses are a bit smaller. Once you cross Monaco, I feel like that's where things start to change. Look, all these bigger boys are coming up now. Look at that bad boy. That house has a pool in the backyard. This has a pool? It does. I remember that was listed just a How are you going to have ago? a pool in Denver? That doesn't make sense. It's going <laughs> to freeze over half the year. Wow. Well, each to their own. <laughs> all right, where are we at? Now we are on 23rd Avenue um, between Dexter and Cherry Street. Um, this is one of the oldest kind of business strips in South Park Hill. We've got uh, dog groomers, we've got dentists, 
We've got Spinelli's Grocery Store, which is really famous in Denver. It's one of the oldest uh, kind of markets, and they've got really good sandwiches and just kind of the necessities. It's not a full service grocery, mm -hmm. but um, they have pretty much everything that you would need in a pinch. You know how you know they're old school? How? Because they still have, um, like if the, the kids from the neighborhood can go in and they'll just like keep it on tab and then, oh, the, pa yeah. then the parents come in and pay for it. <laughs> no one does it anymore. That is proper old school. I know, it's cool. Uh, right behind us here is the Cherry Tomato, which is a great little Italian restaurant. Mm. And then across the street is Honey Hill Cafe, which is a little bit of a newer cafe. Um, it was a cafe before. I can't remember what it was called, but. Well, no, it was a. It was. Was it not a, a ballet place? Well, yeah. So it was a cafe and a ballet school, and then they expanded into the whole space when they became Honey Hill. Anyway, they have really good sandwiches, really good coffee, baked goods, all of that stuff. All right, so over here on the corner, you've got Turtle Park. Um, it's actually called Ferguson Park, but everybody calls it Turtle Park because there's a big uh, cement turtle in it that the kids like to play on. So pretty much everybody knows it as Turtle Park. It's a small little park, but it's uh, really, really fun. Kids love hanging out there. One of our favorite kind of weekend activities is coming down here, going to Honey Hill, grabbing a cup of coffee and a, a cookie or a donut for the kids, and then walking over to Turtle Park to play. I love that house. That's cool. Such a cool house. Here's a typical, would you say this is typical South Park Hill? This is a typical South Park Hill listing for sure. You've got a bungalow, lots of bungalow style homes. Uh, this home was listed for $750. Um, it's about 2,000 to 2,500 square feet. Um, so like three beds, two baths, and sold in, I think, three days. <laughs> so places tend to fly off the, the market pretty quick around here. As you've seen, it's a very desirable neighborhood and it's no mystery why. It's quiet, it's clean, lots of families, lots of great schools. Um, South Park Hill as a whole has about 10,000 residents. Um, the average home price here right now is $795,000. Obviously, there's a pretty big range. You get everything from 500,000 to upwards of 4 million. So um, it just depends on, you know, size and location and what you're looking for. Um, but the average day on the market, average days on the market right now is five. So um, if you find something you like here, you got to move pretty quickly. I love the big wide streets in Park Hill. That's what I love because you can take the kids on bike rides and stuff like that and not worry about traffic or anyone going too crazy down the street. Yeah, and nice sidewalks too. They're really nice to walk down. And since there are so many great places within walking distance uh, in South Park Hill, it's really nice to just get out and walk around, especially in a beautiful Colorado spring day like today. Uh -huh. Blue, blue skies. And there's stuff like you know you got a good neighborhood when there's like rope swings just like outside on the street. <laughs> That's just quintessentially like family friendly, isn't it? That's the thing, like whenever I bring somebody to South Park Hill that hasn't been here before, they just kind of say, oh, this kind of just feels like home. Yeah. It feels homey, the people are friendly, the houses are older and they all have some kind of unique architectural details. Like look at the roof on this house right here. You just don't get stuff like that anymore. I'm going to have to turn around here. <laughs> Look at that curved roof. On the yeah. I mean, how cool is that? Right? That is pretty crazy looking. I love this house right here. Oh, it's gorgeous. gorgeous. That's my jam. I want a house like that. But yeah, South Park Hill. It's where it's at. It's where it's at, guys. <laughs> okay, there you have it. South Park Hill. Lovely little neighborhood. So charming. So charming. <laughs> Just like you. <laughs> yeah, that's very nice. So yeah, we're going to be doing a ton of these different neighborhoods um, coming up on the channel, but we want to hit that one first because it's probably one of our favorites. 
we also live there, so, yeah. well, kind of. We used to live there, probably gonna live there at some point again. Um, but yeah, so a ton going on. If you're interested in this neighborhood, you want to know more about the neighborhood, let us know. We'd be happy to give you more information on that. If you haven't been here before on the channel, you can hit the subscribe button, do all that stuff, comment on how funny and charming we are, and we will keep <laughs> putting out these videos again. We'll see you next time.